So I'm up here in our property up in the mountains and I got a little project I want to start and it's going to involve this thing right here. I'll flip you around here in a second. It's been a project I've been wanting to take care of for a while and we're going to do it now. So this is my grandpa's old 62 C10. It's a two wheel drive, fleet side. He loved this truck and I love this truck. We nicknamed her Old Faithful. And we're, we're gearing up here to load it up. That way we can take it to town. That way I can start working on her. She's a beaut. She runs good. It's got an inline six in it. 235. Four speed. She's been sitting a while. Last time I remember driving this thing was about 10 years ago. I had a brand new truck that wouldn't start. This thing did. We got to work on time. So I don't remember where the last video where I ended that one at, but we got her home. Picked her up from the mountains at their mountain property. I was up there deer hunting. But we got her home now. I, f I found me a battery out of another truck. I'm going to throw this thing in here and see if I can just get it to, to bust over. I'd like to drive it off the trailer. It'd be a whole lot easier. Yes, tires are they're all junk. They've been sitting for many, many years. The three of them do hold air. That one, not so much. It's no way no for nothing. But we'll get the tires aired up, get this battery in it, see if we can just get her to start on what we got. All right, we got the battery in. I think I lost the wing nut on the highway. Uh, let's find a place to set this. I highly doubt she's going to have any fuel in her let's see if, see if she'll turn over at least well that's not good let me go get a set of jumper cables in a truck so I had to fix these connections here they were no way no so let's try this again, round two. See if we can get it a turnover. Hopefully the fuel pump still works. And we can pick up a little bit of fuel. Oh yeah. No. It's acting like a dead battery. Well, it's not a dead battery. We ain't got no ground. Cause the starter's about to fall out. That could have been the issue we was having with this thing for a while. Cause it cranks real slow, but it always started. I think that might have been our issue so i kind of cheated i just put the jumper cables on the nose of the starter she's cranking good now well we were i think my jumper cables might have fell off mine just need to get that starter tightened up yeah jumper cable fell off down there crap so i got the starter tightened up this, this battery or this jumper cable lead, it's messed up. These cables are old. I built these 15 years ago. I dumped a little two stroke gas out of a can down the carb. Let's see what she'll do. I got her turning over pretty decent now. So, come alive for me, baby. Come on, baby. And I just lost my battery. I'm gonna leave the key on and I'll just crank it from outside. Are we pumping fuel? I can't tell, can y'all? I don't think so. I think this post came loose again. Come on. Nope, I lost my ground. This is so hard to do one-handed. Get in there. Don't help my cables weigh four tons. Stay. We got a good bite down there again. All right, crank over, baby. <laughs> I 
this and check the cap and rotor here. The key is on. Oh, fingers in the way, stupid. Get this out of the way. Stay. We ain't got no ignition. Oh, there's a little bit. resistor in this truck so all these connections are probably pretty well dirty oh I just pulled that one off stupid hey yeah yeah that scared me <laughs> I'm not even touching Let's bar this over to a flat spot. Yep, that's perfect. I forgot these have the adjuster here. Alright, there. Stay. Tighten this guy back up. Let's bar it over. See what she does. We're, too, we're still too tight or too loose. I know you gotta use a matchbook or a business card. I've dealt with this truck for so long now. The points, I just kinda know. <laughs> yeah, we're just not even touching now, stupid. Again, I was a slightly over a teenager last time I messed with this truck. I can smell that fuel now. I think we're pumping. Let's see what that'll give us. We're not jumping through our points. firing make make a little bit more fuel down the because we're not pumping nothing yet I didn't get very much in it that felt great yeah, let me work I'm gonna go ahead and replace that coal it might not be strong enough anymore uh, I don't know if I have any either we'll have to find out but change that coal work on the points some more get some more Go go juice in the car. Let's see what we can do. So scratch everything I just said. Found this wire broke off the distributor, so it wasn't getting its signal, so to speak, to the coal to know when to fire. So let's grab a screwdriver here. Move this. Let's see if she'll pop off. 
Come on, yo, girl. Come on, yo, girl. All right, I'm gonna get, have to get some fuel in her. All right, lots of fuel in the carb. We got fire. She's been charging for a while. I got mama's truck hooked up over here. Come on, baby. Let me hear you. Come on, baby. Old Faithful, I'm telling you. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. God, I love this truck. God, I love this truck. Let's see if we got oil pressure. Lights out, so yeah, sweet. Well, I have no clutch. There's nothing there. I think what's happening is the plunger inside of the master cylinder. Yes, this truck has factory hydraulic, which I believe that piston in here is stuck. So what I want to do is put a little heat on it right here, and hopefully we'll hear that piston come free if I can get my torch to work. Putting a little heat in it. Sorry, I suck with a camera. There we go again, I suck with a camera. Right, let's see if that'll come around. I'm, I've got plenty of fluid in the line. I've already cracked the bleeder down below. Now you done did it. Twelve hours later. So I'm sitting here editing this video and get to that last clip and then there's nothing else left. I was I think I was bleeding the clutch and getting that plunger freed up. Well we did end up getting that taken care of. My dad ended up showing up. We we bled it out, had a bunch of air in it still. Um, we did fire it up, got it off the trailer, and just kind of parked it. We didn't have much video, but there, there was, I did lose some. I don't know if I didn't push record, or lost it, or what happened, but that video's just gone. So, we'll, we'll get some more videos on that truck, hopefully in the next few weeks. Want to do, I want to get it running, but weather outside is not so good to drive that two-wheel drive, so, but... We'll get some more videos out on it and go from there. So I'll catch you on the next one.